Hello my loves and welcome to today's H&M Autumn Winter Haul. I'm so excited. I haven't done an order from H&M in about six months, so this is long overdue. If you are new here, hello, hi, I'm Katie. I'm so excited to get into this parcel. You should have seen me, right? I live on the third floor in a block of flats. <laughs> this parcel is bigger than me. Luckily, I got to the top step before the box broke. I'll then sit picture. But I managed to carry it upstairs myself and I'm really proud of myself for that, so. <laughs> I've got some amazing bits to share with you, so I hope you're excited for today's video. If you are, hit the thumbs up and let's get straight into it. So I don't really know where to start. We've got a mixture of knits, coats, just autumn winter goodies. So I'm just gonna basically dive into this box and, and just see what comes out. Look at the size of this box. <laughs> Also, this is going to be just as much of a surprise for me as it is for you guys because, as you all know, H&M takes forever to arrive and I ordered this sometime last week. I literally cannot remember what I ordered, so let's fingers crossed it's nice. Starting off strong with the piece that I feel like actually inspired the whole haul, which is absolutely gigantic, unfortunately, though. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I order things a little bit bigger for an oversized look, but I feel like this is going to be... You know when it just, go, it just goes wider and wider and wider and wider rather than like bigger and longer? Unfortunately, this is like that, but it is absolutely amazing. But look, it's the width of my camera. It's huge. I could probably fit two of me in here. However, the colour, clearly I'm into this colour right now, is absolutely stunning. I love this camel colour. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for this autumnal time of year. I know we kind of are going into winter, but I'm still holding on to a little bit of autumn. Um, and then it's got this gorgeous, I think it's like that mohair detail. Um, really, really lovely, really, really soft, really, really warm and cozy. I have to pop all the prices down below with the links, which everything will be down below in the comment section because they don't have prices on. And I'm not gonna come back and forth, but I think this was a little bit more on the pricier side. I think it is a blend of materials, which is probably why the price is a little bit higher. It's got 8% wool, which is very low percentage of that. It is probably why it made it a little bit higher. However, very cutchy, very cozy. You can just see this with some leggings and then some nice tall, like flat leather boots. Really, really nice, classy, easy outfit. Nice scarf tucked over. Your favorite coat if you want popped on top. Lovely, easy knit. Moving swiftly on, we've got a little jumper dress. Now I feel like I have been living in jumper dresses since autumn arrived. They are literally the comfiest thing ever and the easiest way to look chic but also be comfy. Uh, I'm not sure about this colour tone. I feel like I don't know if it's just clashing with what I'm wearing. Uh, it's kind of like a greyish. It's in between beige and grey. Uh, I got it in a medium. I'm a UK size 12. I'm 5 foot 9. And I normally get medium in H&M. I think the reason I got that jumper bigger was either because it was sold out or because I wanted it to be really oversized. But I didn't want it to be wide. I wanted it to be you know, just bigger in general. The opposite's happened with this. I absolutely love this cardi. It's so gorgeous, so comfy, such nice quality, but it's just too big. Like, it's just too, it's too big. Like, I can definitely tuck it and make it look cute, but size down on this one too. Um, okay, what was I saying? Yes, knitted dresses. Literally the easiest thing to wear, so comfy, so cozy. Just add a belt as your favorite pair of heeled boots. Nice smart black jacket. Yeah, you've got the easiest look ever. Um, just my favorite go-to at this time of year. Ooh, so I'm actually very excitedly off to Bruges. By the time you watch this video, I will have been there. <laughs> but I'm going tomorrow morning, um, hence all of this needs, to, well actually you have guys have no idea, but behind the scenes, I filmed so many YouTube videos this week. I'm so proud of myself. Um, and edited and uploaded them, ready for you guys to make sure I keep on top of my uploading schedule. So if you're not already subscribed with the bell button on, make sure you are. I've got two Zara hauls coming out and a mango haul. The Zara ones are like winter wear, gorgeous bits. And then the mango one is party wear, absolutely stunning. And a Gymshark haul, what I picked up in the Gymshark Black Friday sales. Oh yeah. Um, and because I'm going to Bruges, I picked up a few bits of cozy knitwear. Oh my God, if that is not the most cut, beautiful colour match ever. Oh, this is stunning. What a lovely colour scarf. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, it's so soft, so cozy. Mm. That colour's perfection. I feel like tones are what makes things look good or not. 
and getting a good tone with your skin tone. This is a really nice skin tone colour for me. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I did see some today. So I'm really in two minds when it comes to things like hats and scarves. Like, do you go expensive? Do you go cheap? Do you, what do you do? I picked up a really gorgeous scarf from Karen Miller the other day and I, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It was £40, which I think is a lot for a scarf considering it's not made of any specific fancy material. It's just polyester. However, I went to Primark today and bought two scarves that pretty much look identical in different colours for £6 or £8 each. So I'm like... Rrr. But I do feel nicer when I wear the caramel one because I know it's like a bit more expensive, it's a bit more nice. I know it's not designer price, but equally. Um, and they had these kind of scarves in there and I almost picked one up in like this sort of creamy colour on the end, like off-white. Um, but it was so chunky, I was just like, oh, I know I won't end up wearing it because it's so chunky, like just, it's overpowering. But this is like a chunky, soft, cosy scarf, but without being too chunky. The other one was like, you know what, like they're this big, they're huge. This is perfect. I feel like this makes it a bit more chic, a bit more cosy, a bit more wearable. Oh my God, the fluff is getting everywhere though. It's like, oh my eyes now. <laughs> it's going well so far. <laughs> I'm back, we're all good, we're all good. Okay, moving on. I don't know what this is. It looks sparkly. I'm excited. We like a bit of sparkles. Ooh, I remember what this is. Okay, this is fun. I do think this was like hundred pound. <laughs> I hope it wasn't. Um, this is cool. Wow, this is fun. I love this. So it's absolutely covered in diamantes. Sheer arms. Love that. Love the end cut off, just like blunt like it is as well. Shoulder pads. Lots of people don't like shoulder pads, but I am here for the shoulder pads. I feel like they balance it out. They bring a bit of up to the shoulders and then you can get like that nice waist. It gives you more of the hourglass figure. I'm here for the, uh, for, for the shoulder pads. Nice plunging neckline. Doesn't look too low either, which I like. I like the length on this. It's a good length for a bodysuit. Obviously it's gonna tuck in nicely. Love the fact that they've made it nice and long so you can wear it full length as well because I hate it when bodysuits stop here. And then if your jeans are like just a little bit here, it's just not a vibe. But this looks really nice. I'm really excited to try that on um, and style it. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying how I styled it in the cutaway. Um, I hope it fits really well. I picked that up in a medium. Okay, oh, this one's large too. So this is the same as the initial first jumper that I picked up to do the whole haul, basically. Oh, it is gorgeous. Oh, what a beautiful colour. So beautiful. I never realised how much of a cosy knitwear person I am. I don't know if I was just sick of summer. I felt like I had a really long summer this year, which is not a bad thing, but I was just bored of summer outfits. Like, there's only so many summer dresses you can wear. Sorry, I'm faffing with my hair a lot today because I haven't styled it. It's been one of them busy days, it's just not styled. I should have just chucked it up in a bun, but here we are. Um, this looks gorgeous, can't wait to see this on, can't wait to try it on. I'm really hoping it's not too wide. It does look wide and short though, unfortunately. I really wanted it just to be like long and baggy, a bit like this, but fingers crossed, it'll be all right. Picked up some socks, little essentials, little basics, things like this. I think you just need to grab from the wardrobe but you never actually have. Me personally, I never go buy stuff like this. So here I am buying stuff like this. And what a dreamy palette that is. Oh, gorgeous color tones. Um, these are 10 pairs of socks. That's a lot. And I'm thinking these are, I bought them to go with Uggs, I think. Like my Ugg Taz. You know that when you just want a little bit of sock rolled down, it looks quite cute. You're gonna get the right colour tone with every outfit here because I hate that. You know when the colour tone is just off. I'm a bit of a fuss ass and I feel like that's not gonna happen ever again with these. Thank you very much. Ooh, there's also a black hair in there. <laughs> bit random. But equally something that I find hard to find, but now I've got 10 pairs of them, I'll be sorted. Okay, we've got some shoes quite a lot of nice pairs of black shoes this year actually so I'm probably not going to end up keeping these unless they blow me away. Oh, big roll back. They are stunning. Oh my god. They're stunning. I actually gasped at a shoe earlier in pre-mark as well. They were a bit like this but 
red and classy, classy version of, they wouldn't, this wouldn't look good in red, I know. They're like um, a patent faux leather. I've got the perfect top to go with these as well. Perfect heel height. Any higher than this for me is an absolute no. I think this is about three to four inches. That for me is just perfect. I'm gonna just try it on quickly. <gasps> they look so chic. I can't even. I can't even. <gasps> just because I've got a ladder in my new tights too. Why does this happen? They're called ladder resist tights. And there's a freaking ladder on my on my heel. I've just put them on in the last 10 minutes. Oh, they look amazing. They look absolutely breathtakingly <laughs> gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I'll have to check the price to see if I feel like I need them in my life or not, but oh, they are absolutely beaut. They're beaut. I love them. I love them. I love them. I do not understand how I've got a ladder on my heel. I've literally just put the rest of things around. Okay. What in the Jiminy Cricket is this? <laughs> oh, wide leg trousers. I'm lacking a decent pair of black wide leg trousers. These do actually look a good length. Mm, nope, they're too short. <laughs> and that is why I'm lacking in a pair of them because I find them all too short. These look really nice though. If you are under five foot eight, I'd say, these would be really good for you. Um, they're just an easy black classic pair. Like there's nothing really to talk about. If you know what a wide leg trouser looks like, you know what these will look like. But they're really nice, nicely made. I feel like they were quite, quite a good price point as well. So we'll see what the length is like on them, but I'm thinking they're probably gonna be a no. I'm wondering whether I should have done this in two hauls. I split the Zara video into two rather than just doing one ridiculously long one. But I'll, I'll see how we're getting on if I'm going to decide to split it into two or not. This is a dream. This colour is like the colour of the season, isn't it? And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This maroon, burgundy, burgundy colour. Oh, that is dreamy. I feel like it's just slightly more classy than red. I do, however, really like a deep dark red, like this, like, like my nail colour. That colour. I love. I really love. Um, I'm excited to see this on. I feel like I did pick up a satin midi skirt to wear this with, or I've already, I definitely already have one, but I don't know if I picked one up from H&M. Um, so it's like a nice ribbed sweetheart neckline. I feel like this top's been seen quite a lot because they had it last year in like beige and it sold out all, all the time. Cream, white, I feel like it's been seen, but really easy to wear because I feel like it, it looks like it'd be hard to style because of the neckline, but actually just go strap to spray on your all gravy. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like a jumper. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, I remember. Oh, this is so sad. It's too big. This is a large. I remember picking this up. Like, I saw this style with someone. I was like, this is stunning. Off the shoulder, cream knit jumper. I absolutely love it. And I was hoping that I'd be able to get away with it in the large. But mm, might be okay. This with like some skinny faux leather, um, faux leather looking jeans, you know? That and some heels. Maybe them heels I just shared with you. What a classy, like perfect date night, Christmas meal out with some nice glam earrings. I thought I had to have the earrings in that I was just filming where they don't. I have these really lovely earrings. I have to show you them before we finish actually. Um, they're like silver diamond gorgeous ones and they're from H&M last year but they brought them back out again this year and they would just finish this off with a little silver bag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Absolutely dreamy, really soft, cosy. Oh, off the shoulder knit, I love that. Can't wait to try that on. Hope it fits because if it does, I'll be taking it to Bruges. Starting to think that we might need to do two, two videos because the box doesn't look like I'm really getting anywhere. <laughs> it's still ridiculously full. Okay. Clearly I was fancying some knitwear because there's a lot of knitwear. Nice, three, I don't know what they're called, quarter zip, dark gray knit jumper. Really like that, nice quality, nice arm sleeves, nice length, nice width. Uh, this I picked up in a medium. I think I was thinking of this for like slouchy Sundays because it's quite long. Yes, nice. This paired with like your leggings on a Sunday with a cozy 
just like a cozy chilled vibe maybe put your gilet on if you're going to go for a walk some socks like the socks i shared with you and then like your favorite trainers or some like some wellies some black boots and your leggings comfy but chic yeah i'm liking this cozy and chic i don't feel like this is the one for the jeans because it's quite like bulky and oversized but cute nonetheless i'm gonna pick something big out of here I know exactly what this is. I am looking for a black everyday coat. So one that's like smart, but not too smart. So I've got a smart black coat, which is gorgeous, like a maxi length. I actually shared it on my Instagram today. Yes, I shared it today. I'm doing seven days of classy Christmas looks over on my Instagram. If you aren't already following me over there, my handle's exactly the same as it is here. I'm also sharing it on TikTok as well and Facebook and my yeah my name is exactly the same I'll pop it up here um and that, that black coat I shared on there today and it is in case this is well this will be a lot after you'll see this after I've shared it so it's day two of the classic Christmas looks um and oh it's just gorgeous perfect like evening coat oh this is nice oh yes it's a good size so I've just picked up this oh this is really nice I really like this this is exactly what I've been looking for. I bought Reese one like this actually, and I've not seen him wear it since last year. I bought him one from Zara and it's really nice. I've just remembered. But yeah, I really like this. Can't wait to try that on, see it fit in. And um, it's a nice quality, nice fit. It lo I remember it being about 60 or 70 pounds, which I think is a really good price point for a coat. As I was saying in the Zara haul, in, la in the last Zara video, I feel like coats got really expensive, so it's nice to see some still at a really good price point. Okay, I feel like this is a cheaper version of the mohair jumper. Oh my god, this is this is adorable. This is literally adorable. I love this. Oh, I wish it was a bit longer. I just want some like nice, slightly longer jumpers. Just not that I even own a pair of leggings. Like I don't even own like the comfy leggings that people have that like you don't normally wear at the house because they see through on the bottom. I actually don't even own any any pairs of them. I got rid of them all and I need a new pair. But you know what I mean? Like, I want to find a nice quality version of them. So I'm on the hunt. If anyone has any good recommendations, please let me know in the comments. Good quality, comfy day leggings. Like everyday Sunday leggings. That like regular, regular legging material. I don't want them shiny. I don't want them thick either because I did buy some thick ones but they were they made my legs look chunky then I was like these are not vibe I we don't want the chunky leg vibe but anyway this is cute this is very cute I just want to show you close up the detail on this it's like that like teddy bear cozy knit vibe this looks really cute I actually think this will look really nice I've got leather shorts on today I feel like this would look really cute tucked into my leather shorts and some like black boots and your favorite coat on top very cute very cute excited to try that on okay this looks fun we have got what i can only describe as looking like a teddy bomber jacket a teddy bomber jacket oh that's stunning i feel like it kind of like maybe past the season for things like this now because it's got a bit cold doesn't it it's more like coat season though but if you have just wanted a little jacket oh ooh, ooh, look at this <gasps> I love it. I've got a teddy, like a coat like this in camel colour from Zara and I've shared it in last month's, last week's, in the last Zara video and I told you guys I'm obsessed with it and I'm just obsessed with it but this is equally as dreamy. How nice. How nice. I've got a blanket like this. <laughs> it literally reminds me of the blanket. So cute and cosy and it fits over this big oversized cardi so that's good. A good sign. It is in a medium as well. It's got this nice extra detail down the arm, which I really, really like. Nice size on the sleeves, little pockets, silver zip up the front. Quite just like cozy and then this um, like stretchy waistband on the waist. I was going to say, but duh. Obviously the waistband's on the waist. I feel like I want to hurry things along. I don't want to take too long on this video. There's still quite a bit to get through. I'm gonna get fluff everywhere again. So we've got this scarf in a different colour. Is that the same? This is different. Oh, this is, I'm so glad I didn't buy that one in pre mark earlier. Yep, just got that on my eyelash already. Cute, cozy scarf. Absolutely dreamy. But be warned, it's a bit malty. However, very, very cute. 
perfect colour tone. Absolutely perfect. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, there's going to be so many amazing pieces. How am I going to choose what goes back? I do not know. I feel like I already love everything. <gasps> oh my God. These are amazing. Okay, so I love pyjamas. I could just like, same as every time they go shopping, if they don't find anything, I'm like, oh, just go with myself to pyjamas. Because you can always find some good pyjamas and have it. There's nothing better, is there, than having new pyjamas to put on. I love having new pyjamas. <gasps> These are so cute. I actually have a pair though this exact red tone just without the stripe so I probably won't keep these but equally oh, they've got a pink throughout I love red and pink as a combo these are gorgeous the fit actually on these looks perfect as well I'm a size 12 and they're a medium uh yeah they look absolutely amazing I actually do think though trousers is a bit short on the leg if you are five foot nine as I am or taller I'd say give these a miss oh but see through I can uh, kind of see through them but yeah, really nice, really soft, and nice stretchy waistband, which we love. Um, but yeah, they do look a little bit short on the leg. FYI, but you'll see in the cutaway how they're fitting on. What in the coziness of coziness <gasps> Oh my God, this is the jumper dress. Jumper dresses. This is a cable knit, thick, with like almost like a bell sleeve, like how big the moms are. Oh, knitted mid axi dress. It's not a midi. It's longer than a midi. It's absolutely what a dream. This is gorgeous. It feels so heavy, so expensive. Really, really, really nicely made. I love a cable knit. I absolutely just think they're classic, classy. They look expensive. Even this, with like your favourite pair of heeled boots and like a nice gold earring and your favourite black bag for, for like an evening meal, it's going to look so chic, so effortless and all black look is just, it's just the best, it's just the best, you cannot beat an all black look, it's classiness to a T in my opinion. Okay, tights, I picked up, I hope I picked up a brown pair, are these the brown ones? I actually bought tights today, so I feel like I don't know if I'm going to keep these. However, they have already got a bloody ladder in. I bought them from Marks. They weren't even just, you know, cheapy pre-Mark ones. I bought them from bloody Marks. However, it's just inevitable that I ladder tights, but I actually don't know how this has happened because they've just been in my slippers. Uh, these are... Oh, no, these are just black. They're not brown. I felt like I was trying to find, like, a brownie pair, but these are just black. Denia 40, one of my favourites. Um, and I've got Denia, this is Denia 15, I've got on today. This is like my favorite favorite, and this is my second favorite Denia of tights. Um, and then I've also picked up a 20 here, semi shiny. I like the really glossy ones, but obviously I can't find any, and I thought these were glossy, but they're not, they're just shine. But they're not, I like the like, glossy looking tights, you know, glowy, I'm all about the glow, so. I'll let you know how I get on with them. Anyway, both of them are picked up in a medium. A few more little bits to get through. Here is the satin midi skirt that I was buying on about earlier in that burgundy colour. Oh, is it? Oh, my lion. Oh, my God, no, it's trousers, which looks so short. <laughs> they literally could be cropped on me, unfortunately. But they are gorgeous colour. Wow. I love the colour. And if you guys, like I just said earlier, are less than five foot eight, I'd say, these are going to be an absolute dream on you. These are stunning. I love them. They can go for workwear. You can wear them with a t-shirt and your favourite white trainers for like everyday look. They're lush. I absolutely love them. I think they're exactly the same as black ones, actually. Yeah, they are. And I remember them being a good price point. I think they're like, I think they're in the £20. I think they're just £20. £19.99 maybe, but... It is the colour of the season. And I feel like you can actually dress these up for evening, workwear, daywear, like so versatile. Love wide leg trousers. They are such a key staple in the wardrobe. But this colour, I just love, I love how you can like find the trend colour, but wear it in a really classic staple piece so it doesn't feel like it won't date. It's just stunning, just stunning. Back up to the knitwear. So we had this one in this colour earlier, this like off-white creamy colour. And now I've got it in black. I like it, but it is ever so slightly cropped. I think it would be quite nice because there's not too much to tuck in. 
I've been looking for like a really nice quality black knit. I didn't realize it was such a hard thing to find. Like just a crew neckline um, black knit. And like obviously this is like super fluffy and super cozy. Uh, it's not a classic traditional crew neck, but I do really like it. Again, I think it's gonna look cute like how I've got today, like tucked into anything high waisted. I do tend to go high waisted, so I feel like it's gonna be a good one for me. And it's not cropped to the point of like here, which I did find a lot of the Zara stuff was quite cropped, which surprised me. I was like, did I order this cropped stuff? Like I'm 32, <laughs> apparently I did, but I didn't realize I probably did. Um, but yeah, I really, really like that. Can't wait to see it on. This looks dreamy. This is a jumper. I thought it was gonna be a bit of dress the size on it. Okay, this is the one. You know what I was just saying earlier? I've been trying to find jumpers to go with the leggings because they're nice and long, cozy and comfy. This is the one. Look at the length on that. Stunning. Stunning and huge. That's a medium as well. Look how big it is. Oh, that's nice. It's long, it's cozy, it's comfy, it feels chunky, it feels heavy, it feels well made. Look at them sleeves. I'm all about sleeves. I think little finishing touches like making a sleeve look like this that is what makes things look more expensive this feels really great quality oh this is actually wool <laughs> yeah this is probably really expensive <laughs> it's 50 percent wool it is absolutely gorgeous though can't wait to try that on i need to get myself a pair of leggings asap really don't i because now i've got the jumpers to go with them moving swiftly on to i don't know what the hell i've ordered shiny they're not faux leather they're like a shiny they look like oil. I'm gonna call them oil jeans. <laughs> They're straight high-waisted jean slash trousers. I like them though. A bit more exciting than a regular jean and not a full faux leather. So quite fun. They're quite stiff. They must be like they've been sprayed in the, in the color of whatever that is. Exciting to try them on. Again, I only come to my ankles, but we'll see how we get off. I feel like H&M and trousers for me is just not the one. It's Zara I can sometimes get away with, but H&M, I do find the wool a little bit too short for me. Okay, three dreamy pieces to go. There's one thing in there, I'm leaving it to last because it just looks like a knitted heaven on earth. Okay, more wide leg trousers that look even shorter than the fierce ones. <laughs> These are so cropped. I hold them up and they're like on my ankles. However, nice if you need a new pair of work trousers. <laughs> These to me are giving more workwear vibes than they are, um, you know, everyday wide leg trousers. However, very nice, very easy to wear, very chilled. Made from recycled polyester. They've got belt loops, the other one didn't have belt loops, so I feel like that's a bonus. But yeah, they look way too short. I can just tell that they're gonna be too short for me. But very nice, chilled, and again, I think they were a really good price point. I think I was quite excited about the price of the wide leg trousers, which is why I was like, oh, we'll just try them. However, it's gonna be a no. It is the same trousers in the most gorgeous taupe color. Wow, this taupe color is stunning. Nice color match with this cardi. That would look very nice and tonal. Um, very nice, again, nice thin material, nice lightweight. Wide leg trouser could be dressed up, down, evening, day date night, work wise, let, like wide leg trousers are gonna work very hard in your wardrobe and this color is stunning. I'm a bit devastated that the length of these is pants because they are absolutely gorge, really, really like them. I'd like them styled with the same sort of color knit jumper, I think that would look really nice. Okay, and last but not least, I feel like this is the other really nice wool jumper maybe. It looks expensive again, yes it is. It's the same jumper that we had before, but in this gorgeous camel color. Again, heavy, good quality, stunning sleeves, stunning weight on it, stunning heaviness, nice roll neck. I feel like I want to be sat in a log cabin in the woods somewhere, drinking my hot mulled wine, wearing this, feeling chic, loving life. Really, really dreamy, gorgeous knit. And again, 50% wool. Let me just double check what it says on the inside for you guys. I don't want to lie to you. It is, yeah, 50% wool, 50% polyamide. So that is everything from today's H&M 
autumn winter haul i hope you guys did enjoy we'll definitely have some festive ones before the end of the year so make sure you subscribe with the alarm button on not to miss out on those if you are wanting festive content right now head to my instagram because i have just done a seven days of classy festive looks classy christmas looks um, that I'm absolutely in love with so I really hope that you'll love them as much as me and if you want to shop any of them if you haven't heard of like to know it it's basically an app you can download and you can shop all of my outfits on there you just have to search me my name as it is on here um, the link of it is on my bio I will also pop it down below in the comments uh, down below in the description as I will all of the links from everything I've shared in today's video so Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any favourite that I think you loved, let me know in the comments as well. I love hearing from you guys. It really, really helps me get some feedback from you guys and know what you want me to do more of. Equally, any videos you want to see moving forward, pop them in the comments too. Let's chat. And I will see you in the next video. See you next week. Bye.